Hello and welcome to Stream Tabulous. So we're going to talk about Krita and we're going to talk about how you can add models to it to customize it, to give you more power and to give you the ability to do different types of artwork and different types of uh, renders and give you other models that you can actually put into it so you can actually um, Try different renders. If one's not working for you, the ability to try a different model is absolutely fantastic. So we'll go to the intro and then we'll get on with the show. And welcome back. So I had a little bit of a problem. I took the files from one system and transferred it over to uh, this streaming system. And the reason I did that is the internet in Australia is absolutely atrocious and slow. And 26 gigs took quite a lot of time to actually download the files. So transferring it over was a quicker way to get it working. But two of the files became corrupted in the uh, transfer and resulted in a little bit of a problem uh, in writer so we'll go over and we'll take a look at the issue that i'm having and we'll have a look how you can add models and how you can create new profile models okay so we're over here and i've already got it opened up and you can see here that i have a um, an error so all i'm trying to do is run cat and every time i hit it we get this error happen here now, I don't get it when I'm running uh, other models. I'm only getting it on these two here. So if we come over and we take a look, we can see those two there. And I either got a error in the uh, model itself or perhaps in the JSON file. So we can take a look at uh, fixing that. And this will work if you're wanting to add new models as well. So of course, if you've watched the other videos, you'll know about Civity AI where you can go on and download um, other models that the AI generator can use. And the easiest way to um, explain why you would want these, especially over top of something like Adobe, Adobe has its trained model, but it is limited to its training. When you have different models, they're like different brains. It's like you going out, looking at different types of artwork, learning how to do different types of artwork, and then blending them together into your own unique artwork style. Now, if you've got more than one model, it's like having a whole heap of people with their own information, their own training to actually use, which makes um, Kryta really, really, really powerful in my opinion. So we'll come across and we'll notice down here that we can see what we're actually on for things like the sampling steps, the higher sampling steps, the more it's doing to create the image. Um, it also will take long to actually render if you increase these up. So you need to find the balance which is suitable for you. And we can see sampling steps here for the upscale. I've got it on five. You can see the guidance here is on seven. So this one's not working. So what we're gonna do here is have a look. It's a realistic vision model. Okay, I'm going to delete that. This one here is the Juggernaut model. I'm going to delete that. Okay, and then we come through and I've got these two here, but if we open this up, press that, we'll open up where the models actually go. From there, you can simply download models. So it's the realistic vision model, which is having a problem. So we're going to get rid of that one there. And we're going to put across another version of the realistic vision model. I'm just going to transfer that over. This is a 1.5 model. We'll give that a moment to transfer. And then I'm going to transfer another one. Now, I put across a couple of um, models here. So I'm redoing that realistic vision because it is one of my favorite models. I put epic realism in and I've put another one in, which is 3D painted. So now once we've done that, we can close that. We can press the research and then we'll get our new models listed in here. So from there, we can 
create a new JSON file, which will be the new model that we're actually using, and we can give that a name. So what shall we call this one? Uh, first of all, we'll select our style and we'll have the realistic vision. So we'll call it Epic Real. We'll leave all this as its default. You can play with them. We'll add another one. We'll call this one Painted. And we'll press OK. Now down here, we'll see that we actually have all our new... Um, styles in here so if we go to real vision now which was the one where we were having problems before and we hit generate we'll see there's no error anymore and it's using the same model it's using basically all the same settings except for i left the uh, steps up higher and we'll now get a rendered image and it has fixed our problem uh, the problem might not have actually been the model you could just remove the json file and recreate it and then select that model again um, I'm not too sure if it was the JSON or the model. I think it was the model that become corrupted. So there you go. Now we've got real vision. So and of course you can come up and we can select painted and we can put um, 3D cartoon cat. We can go generate and we'll let that run. And this is a new model that we've put in now and we can actually see um, how that looks. This is a slightly bigger model and I am recording, which is going to be slowing down the render time massively. Uh, if you've seen the previous video, you'll know that I ended up flooding my RAM and um, it was a such of a nightmare there. So this is taking uh, probably twice as long as it normally does. And there we go. So it's that easy. So this is a quick one and an easy one for you. How to create more models and put more styles in so where you can have multiple models that you can actually try which are suited to your style and of course you can use them on in painting as well so you can do your background layer come through set it up to sketch and then when you're sketching you're using that uh, training information for the um for its uniqueness that it actually has uh, same if you're doing some in-painting or you're working on a photo, uh, you might want a model from Civity AI, which has more realistic people in it. So when you're editing something like fixing a face, uh, if you're doing photo editing um, or photo restorations, you're getting that realism there rather than getting something like this model, which is specifically... 3D animated sort of looking characters. You don't want to be using this model on fixing up a photo of a person. So there we go. That's um, Krita, and that's how you can actually add other models to it. And of course, don't forget to uh, check out Civity AI, download those models, and you can put them into your Krita and customize it to what you actually want. And it's a lot more powerful than Adobe because Adobe does not have the features to actually do that. And of course, don't forget to like, subscribe and get the bell on. Comment below on if you're using this program and what you actually think of it. Uh, I find it's fantastic. Don't forget to share this video. It will probably help a lot of people out there. And for a program which is completely free and if you have some sort of low-end gaming computer and a NVIDIA graphics card, you will be able to run this as well as I am. I am running just a GTX 1070. There's nothing fancy about it. It's able to run it as you can see. And that was whilst I'm actually recording this video. So I will see you in the next stream table this video. Thank you for watching my video and sticking around to the end. If you like my videos, it'd really help me out if you could like and subscribe. It helps the YouTube algorithm to push my videos out there to more viewers, which in turn helps me and helps everyone. So thank you for watching my video and hanging around to the end, and I will see you in the next video.